So it's like everyone's loading in pretty quickly, so connection should be good. Changes that we've made is lower the VP count from 150 to 125. Yes. So now the other team hopefully has an idea what what's coming what's to them. Coming. So <laughs> they should have yes. a little bit more of a way to counterattack the Japanese spam. Looks right. like the Americans are starting with um, armored riflemen, um, a rifle squad with a bazooka. Japanese starting the same way with suicide chargers. I don't, I don't know if you guys already switched switch perspectives, but if, if, if you haven't, just go ahead and stay where, where you're at. We'll just hold off on the perspective yep. thing for right now. Alright, I bet. Okay. Yeah, one of the great things about the the map here for the Japanese team is the uh, close quarter combat and the the fact that they can snake and hide behind buildings. Oh yeah, Jap Japan really excels at that close quarter combat with their yeah. their tons of grenades you see right here on the left, just wiping out squads. And a suicide charter squad is like 125 MP compared to 150 of the armored riflemen and rifle squads are more expensive. So they're getting a great trade, even yeah. if they lose more. Definitely getting great value here. Mm. Losing about, let's see, three American soldiers to like one every suicide charger is very big value. Yeah, and it's not only the kills they get, but the map control and the presence that they achieve through the rush. So even if they achieve a negative KD and they don't trade positively in the beginning, the fact that they're able to get such a map control and bring up better units afterwards is, um, is very key. We can see that Wild Style is rushing in for um, Firearm Geek's core uh, points right here. Just rushing in his infantry, no care for their well being whatsoever. Yeah. So we've got Fire Geek here bringing out a mobile 50 cap of I mean, like, uh, in place it. Hopefully, that's going to help push back and hold their hold the line. The most important thing for the Americans when facing or any factions facing the Japanese is to have a strong front line. Really stabilize the situation and not panic. Mm -hmm. Now we see the 20 mils from Japan. Some good impl uh, placements of those and those will do a lot of work. Yep. Let's see, like one right here maybe. 20 mils and SSD. Oh uh, yeah, from the bread the and Japanese butter. Team. Um, great way to counter the the machine gun ha uh, little trucks and the Maxin, the, the 50 cal. Because the 20 mil is pretty nasty. Take out light vehicles, the Scott, anything up to a Scott, a Chaffee. Will die to the AP rounds to the Japanese 20 mil. And honestly, the, the SSD just right, uh, just gonna create havoc. We'll also see if the, the Japanese eye uh, brings out the guild guards, which we see they do from from our style, which are more elite infantry, and they also get two Kazuka guys with the squad included that will help the Japanese deal with any tanks or Shermans that the Americans bring out. See over here that 3 2 1 is pushing very, very hard, uh, taking this point, killing mostly, if not all, of. Uh, uh, Michael Smith's infantry over here, but he will be bringing a 50 cal half track. 
with armored rifle inside him to um, kind of mitigate the damage here. Yeah. If you look at the co feed right now, it seems like it's all blue, blue and yeah. red. But the um, what the game is showing in terms of the back control tells a very different story. So you gotta keep in mind that suicide chargers basically uh, don't mean much in terms of value. Yeah. We see the first 20 mil arriving to the front lines towed by the Hoha from Eknan, and hopefully that's going to take out the Axon AA because that's been holding back the front line. And it's been doing a great job for the Americans. Oh yeah. So far they've decrewed both the half track and the 20 mil, so that's good for them. And we now see that the SSD is arriving to the yeah. front lines. With the patented Starfish. Yep. Yep. One of the great things about the SFB is that it's able to shoot from all directions, and 3 2 is doing the same thing. It's a coordinated attack. Now it's just destroying their front line. Mm. I saw they and tried these to kill Wilds. Also, yeah. They said they tried to kill Wilds. Uh, this is D, but not enough to pen. Yeah. On paper, they don't have too much armor, and a bazooka should be able to go through, but. It's, it's very troll, the armor. Oh yeah, definitely. Sometimes infuriating and sometimes it can be yeah. quite exhilarating. Depends on which side you're on. Depends on which <laughs> side you're on. <laughs> and now it seems that 321's SSD has pushed into their spawn, burning out the 57 GMC truck. That's just spawned in, so very unfortunate. So we can see another Maxon over here. Yeah. Trying to get rid of this type, type 92. So right now they're they're really pushed to a corner, back to their spawn. So hopefully we can see them come back from this. See three times Imperial guards are in the front line. He's hiding the AT infantry, the bazooka infantry. You know, the, the Americans are desperate to hold with their half track, um, their M16, bring out M16, basically needing a lot of firepower. See while they're going in deep with his Type 92. Yep. And it's gone. Terminator seeing that the game audio is a bit loud. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, we I can, can adjust that it. now or in the next game. And we see that 321 is pulling out the RPG from the Bureau Guards to take out some of the vehicles from the American side. And we've got another SSD from Eknan pushing in, basically into the spawn of the Americans at this point. But they will be it's able to get rid of that one very fast compared to the previous ones. Yeah. And the Maxim has been is getting a run basically. Suicide chargers are tossing in grenades to take out the Maxim placement. Trying and if to they get lucky, they might be able to it's in a circle, so I, GTA. I yeah, this is, and they get over that one. But the gutter on the Maxim is uh, pretty resilient in taking shots, yeah. And uh, yeah, he's probably gonna take Ooh. that, or at least self destruct it once he uh, crews it. Mm. I think Eknan's gonna recrew it and turn it on the Americans. That'd be quite. That'd now be we quite see wise. the Americans trying to take bring out another M16, but the 20 mils just shutting that down. Another SSD killing what's left of what's yeah. uh, 
left of the American force. And here, I think we just see like a great um, demonstration of combined arms from the Japanese side. They really had a good plan in terms of bringing out cheap infantry in the beginning to establish control and then using the 20 mils, the SSDs, to just use a combination of different firepower to overwhelm the Americans. Yeah, and Shermanator, I see you're asking how they are shooting flamers from all those different sides of SSD. What you do is um, constantly right click, which switches from which switches the different sides of the flamethrower. There's like six flamethrowers that sticks out of the SSD from every side. That's so five, and then you just alternate between the flamethrowers and keep on left clicking, uh, holding the left mouse button. That just creates a circle of flame. I think one of the good things about playing as Japan as well is that you can have no regard for your infantry whatsoever. Like you, you don't have that constraint like you do with other factions, where you keep your infantry as valuable as you can. Yep. And, and that's going to be a very fast game. Yep. Only look at the game statistics. The Axis, the Japanese actually pulling out with uh, basically a one to one KD, which is great from a Japanese perspective. Whoa! 